So how do you start a basketball training business? My name is Nick Aldero with Make Money Coaching Sports. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you're looking to connect after this to see if we're a good fit to help, text me the word GROW to 732-908-2315. So you're a coach, you know basketball, um, you know how to work with kids, but you're like, well, I don't know the business side. I don't know how to make it sustainable. Number one, you need to get people on reoccurring payments. Now, there's different methods that you can do for that, but you need to get people on reoccurring payments so you don't have to keep selling them over and over and over again, right? So it automatically, so the payment automatically goes through. Number two, you need a cancellation policy so you're not left with zero clients all of a sudden um, during a part of the year. You need to know who's in, who's out, and you need to know by a certain time. Number three, you have to have terms in place that protect you. So meaning like maybe you have a no refund policy or maybe you have a 40 hour cancellation policy, okay? You need terms. Is there a makeup session? Do you wanna have makeup sessions? Or is it, if you don't use it, you lose it. You have to have terms in place that's similar to the cancellation policy. That would kind of be within there, um, but they are different, right? Number four, you need a location. So if you wanna do it outside, you can, you just have to have in your terms like what happens in case of inclement weather. Like what's the what's the move the next week or whatever you want, right? Um, indoors, a good way to get a gym is churches or Catholic schools. Um, I say Catholic schools because that's what I have experience with. But I mean, obviously, there could be other schools. I say Catholic schools because they're private and there's not a lot of BS that goes into like... Um, renting it it's more difficult to rent from a public school you can do it it's just more challenging churches um, Catholic schools I would look in that realm uh, and you can usually get a really good deal next so after you find your spot you want to lock it down for a sustained amount of time that's year-round okay and if you can't do year-round try your best to get year-round in different locations then so when this one ends this one starts Okay, because we need consistency so you can automatically build people. If you don't have consistency, you're not going to be able to automatically build people. Um, or maybe you go outside for this time frame and you go indoors this time frame. As long as people know ahead of time, you should be good to go, right? As long as you are a good communicator and you clearly tell people what to expect. Next, who is your clientele? Like, who do you want to work with? What ages? Do you want to work with young kids ages 6 to 9? Do you want to work with ages 10 and up? Do you want to work with just middle school kids, just high school kids? You got to figure out what age you want to work with. You also have to figure out how many people or how many how many players do you want to work with, right? Can you handle a large group? Do you want to just do four? Do you want to do six? Do you want to do 10? Do you want to do 12? Do you want to do unlimited and then hire another coach? You have to figure that out, right? Because you need to communicate this with your clients. Now, once you figure that out, what is your onboarding process? So like, how do people sign up for your program? What is your, what is your sales structure? Do you do it over the phone? Do you just text? Do you do a Zoom call? You need to have some type of onboarding process. Do you do an evaluation session where you could see where the child is at? You have to figure that part out where somebody feels comfortable signing up with you because they, they trust you and they're able to tell you what their athletes' issues are, right? What are they struggling with? What do they? What are their goals? What do they need help with? Okay, so what's your onboarding process? If you're doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one training, you're going to want to put them into groups, okay? Now, this way you can optimize your time. If you're doing all one-on-one -on -one training, you're not going to optimize your time. You're going to be stuck working all day. If you, do, if you still do want to do one-on-one -on -one training after you make a group, make it a premium offer where it's worth the the time, okay? The goal is to work for yourself, right? Not have to work eight hours in a row with eight different sessions. You can just group people, and it doesn't have to be a large group, it could be a small group, but you wanna optimize your time, and then you can create multiple groups. Next is, how are you getting in front of people? How are you marketing? Um, do you use Facebook? Do you use Instagram? Do you um, do free clinics? There's a bunch of different things you can do but you wanna capture people's information. You need their info so you can create a list so you can email them, okay? And phone numbers is even better as well so you can create um, a text list where you can text people when you do have a paid offer, okay? People can do that in 
all different ways. There's not just one way to do it. There's tons of different ways. Now, if you're looking for extra help, text me the word GROW to 732-908-2315. From there, I'll text you back and we can schedule a time to talk so I can learn more about you and to see if we are a good fit to help your business. All right, I'll see you next video.